Welcome to number four of my UDK development diaries. I've well, this time you can see that I'm not straight away in the game. I'm in the Unreal Development Kit itself to show off what I've done to the enemy spawners. Um, let's go over to the spawner. As you can see, it's nothing really. It's just pretty standard graphic to show where it is. Um, and within the properties, I am able to set up waves now. Uh, this is good for a level designer if they want to. Well, they can completely customize ev everything about the enemies in, and how many waves there are, without actually touching the code whatsoever. Um, as you can see, I can I'll just set up some quick waves. So let's just give them half a hundred. Just put ten in. Uh, the spawn interval and waves. Yep, that's fine. So if we just start the game now, like this, you can see they've also put a timer. There's nothing there. You also don't have a gun, so you have to pick them up. So this is the tower spawning gun now with this lovely, lovely mesh. Let's just place a tower quickly. So as you can see, the enemies come from the spawner in the distance. Probably could have made the interval a bit different. Coming after you. I am also able to shoot it because I've placed a gun on screen. As you can see, my credits are increasing as well. That's nothing I've added, credit system. And that is it. One wave, pretty simple. I can now add... If I want to, add another spawner in, quite simply. He says. Right. So now I can. This is, as I've just copied it, it's got the exact same properties. But this one, I'm going to add another wave to it. And then add. Just give them 200 health this time. And make there's only 5 of them. I'll probably make the interval a bit different as well. Right. So, if I click on the other one, you can see that this one only has one. One wave, this one has two waves. Um, this doesn't affect the... Well, it does affect it, in a way. Well, yeah. yeah um, when you actually... When it spawns the enemies, it calculates them by adding up the total waves, and then it moves on to the next wave when all the enemies are dead. But not every spawner needs to have the same amount of waves. You can have different a different number of waves and it will still uh, spawn that many waves anyway and say look next wave I've also got enough credits it's set at the moment 10 credits per gun probably can change that maybe shouldn't have hard coded it in either should have made it a constant variable uh, but should I change? I think that's about it. Just so you can set up multiple ways, really. Shoot stuff yourself. And it also says I win. <laughs> Wait, I've won? And there's still... Ah, right, that's... We have found a bug. That's nice.